This project is called Symmetrical Anteater. So let's talk about symmetry. Symmetry is when it's the same on both sides. So as we get started, let's take a look also at some real anteaters. You know, anteaters are mammals that have long, skinny snouts, long foreclaws, and bushy tails. The giant anteater is the largest of four different species. They live in the grasslands and rainforests of Central and South America and eat insects that they dig up with their long claws and then use their long, sticky tongues to slurp it up. Surprisingly, anteaters don't have teeth, but can still eat up to 35,000 ants or termites in one day. Wow, let's get started making our own ant symmetrical anteater. Let's get started in creating this symmetrical anteater. With a piece of gray construction paper, please fold it in half and on that fold line, start out with a big curved line that goes from one side of the paper to the other side. You'll notice that I'm not cutting much paper off. In fact, show it to Mrs. Foxen before you cut, just so I can check where your fold line is so that you've, you are ready to start the body. Once you've drawn that, go ahead and make three curved lines onto your paper. All right, let's go ahead and grab a painting mat, some black and white paint, and a fork. When I began with my fork, you'll notice that I'm able to make a few prints by using the fork in the paint and pressing that down gently onto the paper, very gently onto your gray construction paper. I'm gonna do that to the top part as well as to the bottom part. This will give my anteater some really nice texture lines that kind of remind me a little bit of the texture that I saw in some of the anteaters at the beginning of the video. Now, with those lines that are in the center, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the top section with my white paint. Paint it all up, all the way to the edges. Thank goodness we have a painting mat. And then use a second brush or the other paint brush that's at your table, and you can start to paint the second section with some of your black paint. Fill it all in nice and neat. There. Now I'm gonna set that aside in the drying rack and let that dry. Let's go into making the head. Taking a piece of gray construction paper, just like you did for the body, fold it in half. Using one of the head templates, Go ahead and draw around the head, right on the fold line. Again, feel free to show Mrs. Fox in after you've drawn half of the head onto your gray construction paper. Okay, now let's go into making the rest of the head. I took a sheet of white paper, folded it in half, drew, drew out a circle, and when I cut it, I ended up with two. I noticed that I could see a little bit of black, so I drew around the other white. Then I'm adding in my eyes, just using one of the black markers that I have in my supply tote. I'm also using my black marker to make some ants on this long pink piece of paper. That'll be used for its sticky tongue. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting some things together now. I'll go ahead and glue on my eyes to the face any way I want. Using my oil pastel, I'm gonna go ahead and add on a nice long nose, decorations for my ears, and then also please outline your head so that it stands out nicely onto your anteater's body. Whew, this is looking good. There we go, maybe some eyelashes, and I also used my black just to make it look all furry and fuzzy, kinda of like those beginning pictures. Now, when it's time to assemble everything together, I'm going to leave my head being able to have a little bit of the fold. One, so that I can tuck that tongue into the bottom of the face, and two, it just provides my anteater a little bit of three dimension. With a black piece of paper, go ahead and fold that again. Make a huge bushy tail, one that goes from the top of the paper all the way to the bottom of the paper, and the leftover space can be used to make feet. 
There they are. Since it's folded, you'll end up with two. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the leftover pieces of paper for my tail and assemble that all together. Areas for my feet, now I've got my tail, and there's my cool anteater. Thanks for watching. Happy art making!